welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello my name is kitty and i own a small jewelry business and in this channel i share different types of jewelry that i make either for my business or something i just found on the internet or something i have been requested to make and this bracelet is something i have been requesting to make and i feel like i have made so many daisy bracelets but there's always a different variation out there and it is this gorgeous bracelet i think it's so pretty i think the picture that i was sent actually had like green beads but i don't know i felt like putting red i think it's really really like fancy i'd say but this is what we're gonna be making today so the things that i am going to be using are two different type of miyuki beads size 8 slash 0 i have the gold ones that are going to be the middle of the flower these ones will be like per, these are like per there will be the actual flower then i have miyuki size 11 slash 0 and then some crystal beads some closures a ma fishing line 0 0.33 millimeter some pliers scissors and that's it everything that i use i will link in the description box so if you see anything that you want to get it will be linked in there you don't need to use the same beads by any means you can use any beads you like i'm just want to show you how to make the bracelet so i am going to take some fishing line and i'm gonna take about let me just cut it because I kind of know the size, but I don't know how long that is. And I took about 90 centimeters and I am going to fold it in half, take one of the ends, put the fishing line in And then just fold down the sides and take one of the jump rings and the lobster claw, put it on and put the lobster claw on as well and close it. And now we can start beading and I am going to start with the flower so the way I do it is take the two ends of the fishing line take one bead and put each end of the fishing line through the opposite side of the bead and then you drag it down and this is how it looks and now you take two beads on each end of the fishing line. Like so. And then you take the middle bead and put both ends of the fishing line through. And this is how it's going to look. And then you kind of like take these two ends, fold them over, looks like a little heart. And then you take one side of the fishing line, put it through two beads on one side. And then you do the same thing on the other side. And when you pull it, this is how it's going to look. And now you take the same bead you used for the flower earlier and just put one bead each end of the fish line to the opposite side of the bead. Drag it down. And you have done your first flower. And now we're going to take on one end, we put the crystal on and on the other end we put five beads, the smaller ones. And 
and then you take another smaller bead and pull each end of the fish line through opposite side of the bead. And then when you drag it down, this is how it looks. And now on the end, on this side, where is the crystal, we pull five smaller beads on and on the other side we put a crystal on like so and then we take another smaller bead and put each end of the fish line through opposite side of the bead it down and we sort of like created like a little shape I don't know how it's called but if you put like one less bead it's gonna be less of like curve but this is how it looks and now we start making the flower again so you take the bead put each end of the fish line through opposite side of the bead Drag it down. Take two beads on each end. Take one bead in the middle. Drag it down. This how it looks. And now again we take these two ends, so fold them over, take one side, put it through two beads on one side, and two beads on the other side. Drag it down. And then take one more bead, put each end of the fish line through the side of the bead. Drag it down. And here's your second flower done. And now we go do the curve again. So we took one side with the crystal and the other side had five smaller beads on. Like so. And then we take another smaller bead and put each end of the fish line through opposite side of the bead. And then we do the same thing on the other side. Five beads on one side, crystal on the other, one smaller bead each end to shine through the opposite side of the bead. Like so. And now we start making the flower again. And we just keep going like this until we get to like about one centimeter less than you want your bracelet to be. And then we're gonna put the closures, the other side of the closure on. And I will see you in a second. Okay, I just finished beading my bracelet. And this is how it looks. And it actually didn't even take that long to make one. So now I'm just gonna take the other side and put the closure on. And remember, you don't need to make just a bracelet. Like you can always make a necklace as well. And you just fold down the ends, 
cut off the loose fishing line and put a jump ring on. And this is it, this is your bracelet done. How pretty is that? And this is how it looks on the wrist. So cute. Matches my nails as well. <laughs> but yeah, really easy, really quick, and looks absolutely amazing. So, and that's what we want, right? So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Bye.